The UK Strategic Defence Review 2025, published by the British Parliament on November 24, 2025, sets out a long-term production framework for British Royal Navy nuclear-powered attack submarines built in the United Kingdom. The first submarine in the new class is expected to enter steel cutting in 2027, they will deliver enhanced stealth, greater range, increased payload capacity, and full interoperability with Allied naval forces, offering the Royal Navy a generational leap in undersea combat capability. The British Royal Navy currently fields a fleet of six Astute-class nuclear-powered attack submarines and four Vanguard-class ballistic missile submarines, the latter forming the sea-based component of the UK's continuous at-sea nuclear deterrent. The Astute class, introduced into service starting in 2010, was designed to replace the aging Trafalgar class SSN and has become the backbone of the Royal Navy's undersea warfare capability. However, by the late 2030s, the Astute class will begin reaching the end of its operational life. The new SSN AUKUS submarines are intended to replace the Astute class on a one-for-one -one basis. Larger and more capable, these submarines will incorporate U.S. technology from the Virginia class, including combat systems and vertical launch cells, combined with British design expertise and propulsion systems. They will deliver enhanced stealth, greater range, increased payload capacity, and full interoperability with Allied naval forces, offering the Royal Navy a generational leap in undersea combat capability. The expanded industrial base and 18-month build rhythm will allow the AUKUS SSN program to deliver a fleet of up to 12 nuclear-powered attack submarines. The decision to produce a new SSN every 18 months will redefine Britain's role in global naval strategy, ensuring the Royal Navy maintains its position at the forefront of nuclear-powered undersea warfare while helping to deliver a fleet that embodies the technological and strategic unity of the AUKUS alliance. According to the UK Strategic Defence Review 2025, published by the British Parliament on November 24, 2025, the United Kingdom outlined a continuous production model for nuclear-powered attack submarines for the British Royal Navy. The review details how expanded capacity at BAE Systems Barrow and Furnace Shipyard in Rolls-Royce's Rainsway nuclear facility is intended to sustain a build tempo of one submarine every 18 months creating the industrial conditions needed to support delivery of up to 12 nuclear-powered attack submarines under the AUKUS SSN program. The AUKUS submarine program, signed in September 2021, is a trilateral security partnership between Australia, the United Kingdom, and the United States. The centerpiece of the agreement is Pillar I, which focuses on delivering a nuclear-powered submarine capability to Australia, with support from the US and UK in design, technology, and training. Pillar 2 covers cooperation on advanced military technologies, including quantum computing, cyber warfare, artificial intelligence, undersea systems, and hypersonics. The SSN AUKUS submarine program is the PAC's most visible and strategically significant initiative, aiming to deliver a joint fleet of cutting-edge submarines that will operate seamlessly across Allied navies in the Indo-Pacific. The commitment, announced in the final pages of the review under the Future Maritime Capabilities section, is more than a procurement goal. It is a strategic recalibration of Britain's role within the AUKUS Pact. By guaranteeing uninterrupted submarine construction through sustained investment at BAE Systems Barrow and Furnace Shipyard in Rolls-Royce's nuclear propulsion facility in Rainsway, the UK is positioning itself as the industrial and design cornerstone of the SSN AUKUS platform. A next-generation nuclear-powered attack submarine intended for deployment by both the Royal Navy and the Royal Australian Navy. Sources familiar with the review's drafting confirmed to Army recognition that the 18-month production cycle will not be a one-off surge but the new standard until at least the late 2040s, supporting a projected fleet of up to 12 SSN shared between the UK and Australia. This cadence mirrors Cold War-era levels of submarine construction not seen in the UK since the height of the Royal Navy's nuclear expansion in the 1980s. The British Ministry of Defence has already begun preparations for this build-up. BAE Systems is expanding its Barrow facility, currently responsible for astute class production, to accommodate the transition to SSN AUKUS designs by the early 2030s. The first submarine in the new class is expected to enter steel cutting in 2027, with a full-class build sustained by a hybrid UK-Australian workforce. 
This strategy is not merely about meeting future requirements but about preserving national industrial capacity, ensuring platform availability, and maintaining a credible deterrent presence across multiple theaters. The implications stretch far beyond the UK. Australia, which will begin receiving its own SS and AUKUS boats in the late 2030s, is heavily dependent on British and American expertise to stand up its own sovereign nuclear submarine enterprise. The continuous build commitment in the UK ensures the program remains on schedule, while creating critical industrial synergies for the three AUKUS nations. US officials have privately expressed strong support for the UK lead in design and early production, as it frees American yards like Newport News Shipbuilding and General Dynamics Electric Boat to concentrate on the Columbia-class ballistic missile submarine and sustaining Virginia-class output. At its core, this industrial acceleration is a hedge against Chinese naval expansion. The People's Liberation Army Navy has dramatically increased its own submarine construction rate, with Western analysts estimating China could field as many as 70 submarines by 2035, including new variants of its Type 093 and Type 095 SSNs. The AUKUS submarine fleet, stealthier, quieter, and more lethal, will be the Alliance's answer to that challenge. The decision to produce a new SSN every 18 months will redefine Britain's role in global naval strategy, ensuring the Royal Navy maintains its position at the forefront of nuclear-powered undersea warfare while helping to deliver a fleet that embodies the technological and strategic unity of the AUKUS alliance. This industrial rearmament marks one of the most significant investments in British submarine capability in decades, reinforcing the nation's role as a key maritime power and making AUKUS not just a strategic pact, but a fully integrated defense enterprise with global consequences.